Hi, this is Vince with a weather and climate briefing that will cover what occurred during the month of February with an outlook into March and beyond. If you remember, the first 12 days of February were quite cold. This chart shows the departure from normal daily temperatures at Devil's Lake, North Dakota. The blue columns signify days which are colder than normal. The coldest temperatures for selected cities during the first 12 days of February are shown here. Park Rapids had the coldest temperature at 28 degrees below zero. Along with the cold, numerous wind chill advisories were issued for the area. There were also several days with blowing snow or blowing dirt. After the early cold stretch, there were actually two days with warmer than normal daily average temperatures. February 14th was the warmest day when Bemidji hit 50 degrees. This graph shows the amount of solar radiation measured at the Agassiz Wildlife Refuge in northwest Minnesota. The power of the sun has become much more noticeable in February. Even on cloudy, cool days, snow and ice on the roads has been melting. This graph plots the air and road temperatures at Gatsky, Minnesota on February 14th, the warm day. While the air temperature peaked at 33 degrees, the road temperature hit 49 degrees. After the two warm days, temperatures took a shift back to the cold side from February 15th to 24th. The coldest temperatures during this cold stretch are shown here. Once again, Park Rapids had the coldest temperature. During this cold snap, there were four separate snow events. The first occurred on February 18th, when the most snow fell along the Highway 200 corridor, especially around the Bemidji area. The second snow event occurred on February 19th and 20th. The third event occurred on February 22nd and 23rd. Then the fourth snow event hit the southern Red River Valley the hardest, with up to eight inches of snow. Looking at all four events together, you can see how the southern Red River Valley into adjacent portions of west central Minnesota were hit the hardest. Before these events, there was minimal snow cover on the ground in these areas. Looking at modeled snow water equivalent, the highest amounts are still across northwest Minnesota. Finally, to close out the month, temperatures were closer to normal. The month of February ended up being colder than normal for all areas. Fargo had more precipitation than Grand Forks. Fargo ended up with nearly a foot of snow. Now let's look ahead at the month of March. March is technically the first month of spring. During March, normal highs and lows continue to increase, as well as the normal precipitation. You can expect to gain more day length along with the spring forward on March 11th. What types of weather can occur in March? Most of the events involve some sort of winter weather or strong wind, but can also feature rain or fog. This is the Climate Prediction Center's March temperature outlook. For most of eastern North Dakota and the northwest quarter of Minnesota, they favor equal chances for above, normal, or below normal temperatures. This is the Climate Prediction Center's precipitation outlook for March. For most of our area, the outlook shows 50% probabilities for above normal precipitation amounts. For the March, April, May temperature outlook, the Climate Prediction Center favors equal chances for above, normal or below normal temperatures. As for the March, April, May precipitation outlook, the Climate Prediction Center favors about a 33% chance for above normal precipitation. Here's our latest photo of the month winner. It shows a person throwing a cup of boiling water into the air during a frigid winter night, backlit by a blue light. That concludes this weather and climate briefing. Thanks for listening.